today's kitchen melting pot, a traditional dish from Mexico called molletes. For a light meal or snack, it's a recipe Patty Jinich grew up eating and now makes in her own home. And her new cookbook is called Patty's Mexican Table. Patty, good morning. Good to have you back Hola, here with Natalie. us. Hola, Natalie. Lovely to be here. Good. Super bien. Good, good. good. Is, I know a family favorite that you're going to show us, molletes, which is sort of like a, a take on the grilled cheese sandwich. Exactly. You make this with your boys? I make this with my boys. You know, there's a beautiful saying um, that says, know where you come from to know what your legacy will be. Aww, and for me, cooking really combines the two worlds. So mm -hmm. these are dishes that I grew up eating and that nurtured me in my home country. And now I make them here in my new home, and it just connects things beautifully because here you can find all of these ingredients now. That's right. So I grew up eating these with my family, and I and make, make them for my boys, and then we give it the new... American spin. Okay, so we're going to start first with the pico de gallo, which you're going to then use put on top of the mollets. Yes. Right? So okay. the pico de gallo, as you know, if you want to help yeah, me, sure. we have the chopped the tomato. This is a traditional pico. Right. Pico de gallo are the raw and chunky salsas mm -hmm. of Mexico. So and we so have, add a little onion. You have onion, you have tomato, okay. you can keep the seeds and the corn, everything this in there. Cilantro. Cilantro. Okay. Then you can use jalapeno or serrano chili. Okay. Um, I like to keep the seeds, seeds on. Out. Oh, you have, kept them in. Okay. I kept them in. Okay. And, and then lime juice. Lime juice. Nice. And then depending on what people want to do, some people add olive oil, some people don't, depending on what you like. Mm -hmm. The secret to a I good like pico, it's good Natalie, it's fabulous, yeah. Mm -hmm. So after you mix it all, the secret is you let it sit for like 10 minutes. Okay. So it all comes together. It marinates. Yeah. Okay, delicious. And from here you can play with other ingredients. You can add cucumber. Um, celery, mm -hmm. you can make a fruit Whatever because so like while well, that, that seeds, we make the molletes. Okay, so molletes, let's start first with the bread. What kind of, is so you like the, the sandwich, the, bo the bocadillo bread, right? Si. Yes. So anything that's French crusty bread. and mm -hmm. individual size, so if you have a large baguette, just cut it into individual pieces. Okay. And then you spread refried beans. Okay. Um, just that. like so. You can make your own refried beans at home or you can buy them in a can in your Latin and section. And the good thing of is refried beans are pretty healthy. They're not, you know, there's, if you get the ones without lard in it, right? Exactly. There's so nutritious and they're feeling and they're earthy and okay then mm -hmm. you go with the cheeses, cheeses. and you, you like a do, mix of cheese i yeah i like melty something that's melty and not too overpowering like a mozzarella or oaxaca if you have cheddar you go you know you go with whatever you have as long as it's melt mm -hmm. melty and then you have Put different that in toppings the oven for a bit Put that in the oven, eight okay. minutes, and when then, it comes out, then you've chorizo, got different toppings. bacon. You want to go vegetarian? No. Al doesn't want to go Al's vegetarian. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. We're a good we're team. We're a team. A spoonful of bacon for you. There you yeah. Go. And okay. then, we'll of course, mushrooms. of course, you top with ripe Mexican avocados, avocados just like nice and smooth. And then the picadillo. And then the top. pico de gallo. Pico de gallo, rather. And then. Get look, your pico right. Get the pico right. A beautiful Holy breakfast. Oh, look at that. And that's a breakfast with the eggs. Yeah. So, guys, this is something you. You can do for breakfast, for mm -hmm. lunch, for dinner. It's just Great. accommodating. Nice. Good. A lot of protein. Packs a punch. It's good. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Patty. Oh, Great to have you back you. here again. Thank you, guys. And a reminder, the recipes are on our website at today.com.